Hi, welcome to a brand new episode of The Daily Bugle. The previous episode that was for today ended prematurely, and due to the graphic nature of that previous video that you could actually see online, uh, up until the rant begins, it was due to cut. So, we replace it with the response video and the mythical crit, uh, creature known as Chris, as he today plugs several things. Hello, Chris. How are you, Steve? I'm doing good, man. Well, hello, Internet. It's unfortunate that I have to be here today, but due to the adult nature of the content in this morning's video, I thought it important that we uh, make a second video. It's a little more professional. It doesn't leave footprints on the wall and marks on the floor. It was pretty bad. Comic books went everywhere. Yeah, comic books are supposed to be fun. So, what book do you have for us today, Stephen? Well, <clears throat> Nova, issue six. If you are currently reading anything from Marvel Comics, this is the one that you really need to read. This is, hands down, the best Marvel book that they have on the stands right now. Illustrated by Corey Smith, <clears throat> written by Sean Ryan. This series literally is what makes comic books fun. Every issue ends with a cliffhanger. Every is issue has that old school Spider-Man feel back in the day when you're reading a Spider-Man comic and you're like, oh man, he's in high school. Oh. There's action, there's suspense, there's just so much that happens in this comic that this is the key book. This book will have major events, major ramifications in the upcoming Civil War where this young man has to choose a side. Not only that, but does he find his father? Well, does this, does this book tie into the original series? Yes, the original series from the 70s. That Nova is this Nova's dad. So that's the son of Nova? Yes. Okay. That is the son of this Nova. So if you've read that awesome story back in the day, you're like, oh, I hate this Nova. Well, then they reboot, then they took a new Nova and they put him on the new Warriors. That's a totally different, totally different Nova. Unrelated to the original Nova, who is the father of this Nova. That is correct. So the Nova from the New Warriors is not this Nova, not related to this Nova in any capacity. No. That's it. This awesome book. Check this out. Buy it. Great stuff. You don't have the first five issues. Come in, and he'll tell you how to do it. Chris. Okay. Today, in lieu of a book, I'm going to discuss the comic book club that we've been getting a lot of inquiries about since we launched it two weeks ago. Um... It has been on Thursday nights. We are officially moving it to Saturdays at 5 starting this week. It's going to run from 5 to 7. Very simple. It's $10 at the door. You bring all the comics you want. You swap them out with other collectors. We hold raffles. We do one for a variant cover. And we do another for a toy or a statue or a collectible that's worth $50 or more. And those raffles are free. They're covered with the entrance to the door. And it's a good way to come in, learn about back issues from other collectors, interact with other collectors, and make comics fun again. In addition to that, we have a comic book club membership now where for $20 a month, you get free access to all our events, free previews magazines, including the image previews, which is going to be coming out next week, that has the Negan origin story broken out over 12 parts. So if you're looking for that or interested in that, you know, the comic book club is one way to guarantee that you're going to get one uh, every month when it comes out. In addition to that, you know, you also get your free bags and boards with your regular subscription books, but you also get first looks at collections that we get in every day. Like today, we brought in over 400 books, most of which are Bronze Age Marvel. And we've got X-Men, that's the Tribe of Colossus, that's his origin story, first appearance of the Hellfire Club. There's first Infinity Gauntlet. There's first X-Factor. We have, I think, almost the entire first 100 issues, including... First full appearance of Apocalypse, first cameo of Apocalypse, first Archangel, and across the board. We've got Bronze Age Thor, we've got Bronze Age Iron Man, we've got some early Daredevil, some Inhumans in here, some very nice stuff. We get collections in every week, and every time we do, we post something up on Facebook. We let our, we let our members know that they get first crack. All you have to do is message us, come in the store, and you get, first crack, you get first crack at it. We haven't sorted them. We haven't priced them. 
We haven't done anything with them except put them in the bin that they came in and put them aside back here at our members' checkout counter and, you know, sort pile area so that they can come in and then get their hands dirty and mess around with it and really get the experience of rooting for books. <clears throat> hey, that sounds like a good time. Let's make comic book collecting fun again. We got a couple of really interesting things coming up. May 1st is our comic book, free comic book day, right? 